Welcome folks, it feels like the height of summer, even though it's not quite June yet, I'm ridiculously sunburnt. Um, welcome to the final episode of From the Cow Shed, um, the series where I talk you through my uh, journey building my business uh, as a part-time eBay reseller. Um, for those of you sort of not who are new to this, not, not seen an episode before, uh, welcome first of all. Um, I moved into this cow shed, as I call it, nine months ago. Got my office and everything up there, stock everywhere. It's 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 a great place, but then the pandemic pandemic hit, and um, things changed. The demands on my time, work-wise, became a lot more because I work full time as well. Um, so I'm in a position now where I can't devote as much time to my reselling, and therefore can't afford to pay the uh, the rent on this place any longer. So I'm moving somewhere smaller, uh, which I will show you in a bit to a 40 foot shipping container, in fact. Um, but I have got a lot of stuff to move. So follow my journey over the next three to four days as I move everything. I've hired a van for tomorrow, but today I'm in Land Rover moving stuff. Um, I'll show you my new place in a bit. I'm just going to fill the Land Rover with stuff to take down to the, uh, the new uh, location. Okay, folks, bye for now. So here I am at a top secret undisclosed location. My new premises. Um, Slightly a step back in terms of the fact that I've no longer got an on-site office. They've just literally got storage now, but one well needed for financial reasons. So yeah, here it is. I've got a 40-foot shipping container, which is huge. Fully insulated as well, uh, which is what that is. Um, yeah, look at the space we've got here. I can walk, 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 walk. And I'm still like, you know, halfway down it. So uh, yeah, hopefully this will be enough room for the majority of my stock and get the racking in and everything. I'm not sure if I'll get everything in. So I have cleared out space at home as well. But yeah, I'm hoping the majority will go in here. I've already bought a few boxes, which I'm gonna put in now. I'll gradually show you how it's shaping up as things come, uh, you know, come along. Um, so yeah. We'll see you on the next uh, excerpt, is that what you call it? The next, next bit anyway. Bye for now. Whew. Hey folks, it's the end of uh, day one. It's the first day I can't even count that high. Uh, I have shifted a load of stuff to the uh, container. This, believe it or not, is several carloads of stuff. Uh, put there still loads of room now but um yeah I need, I need that van really so getting the van tomorrow midday pickup um get a load more stuff moved got it for 24 hours so move a load of stuff tomorrow move some more stuff on saturday morning hopefully get the majority if not all of it shifted and then i can uh, relax but yeah we're making progress at least anyway end of day one Gonna go home and uh, relax in the garden now. See you soon, folks. Okay, folks, it's a new day. It's Friday. Um, I'm just in Land Rover. I am about to go and do some shopping for Mother because she's shielded at the moment. Um, once I've done that, uh, I'm gonna go and pick up the van, which will hopefully make uh, transporting stuff a lot easier. Fingers crossed. So yeah, I got a load of stuff to pick up, as we know. So I'm going to crack on with the day and see what's, uh, what's what. See you in a bit. Hello YouTube. I've got the van. It's not, it's not as big as I, I thought it would be. Um, I need a bigger van really, but never mind. Um, it's still being a Land Rover, so it will just take a few more trips than I thought to get stuff. Um, yeah. Next time we're going to pay the extra seven quid for a bigger van if I move again, which I'm really hoping I don't. Anyway, um, masses and masses and masses of stuff, plus up there, plus the office, which is over there, so I'm going to get cracking. See you in a bit. Okay, so the first load from the van is in. As you can see, the pile that was there has increased by almost double, so it, you can fit a good lot in the van, to be fair. But it takes ages to load and unload, um, so I need to be smart about how I use the van. So I'm going to use it to shift the furniture that's there now. So we can get that furniture shifted, 
everything else will go on the Land Rover anyway. So the van has served its purpose. Um, so yeah, I'm going to move furniture and then I can get back to shifting boxes and stuff uh, and get some of this stuff on, onto and into the furniture as well because it all needs sorting through and taking out of boxes and bags. Uh, otherwise I just will run out of space very rapidly. Okay, see you in a bit folks. So this is what a full van looks like. Yeah. And I still, I may have done a quarter of the stuff so far. Getting pretty worn out, but I'm going to keep on going. Keep on rocking. See you in a bit. CCC. Done it. Thought I'd give you a bit of a view of the upstairs as well. I've actually taking a few bags downstairs. Down there, that stuff there. I've taken down. We've got all of this up here. This desk that I'm just moving. There's a room full of stuff here. Through. Yeah, room full of stuff here too. So, no easy task, but I will persevere. I will keep going. I keep filling the van. See you in a bit. Morning, folks. I'm in the van. I'm stupidly hungover after last night, but uh, yeah, I've still got uh, a couple of hours to go until this has to give, go back. It's just gone nine o'clock at the minute. It's got to go back at midday. So I'm going to try and do another couple of van loads at least, um, just so there's a lot less stuff to move uh, in the Land Rover. So I'm going to get cracking, see you in a bit. Okay, so I'm back at home for a uh, for lunch. Um, I didn't do any filming this morning because with the fan going back at 12, I just wanted to crack on. Um, the cow shed is probably three quarters empty, um, so I'm going to have to empty the rest of the Land Rover but all the big and bulky stuff's gone so should be fairly easy uh, I'll show you my progress in a bit but obviously we're gonna have some lunch first so see you soon thought I'd show you how much stuff we've got in here it's getting full stuff all the way to the back now the cow shed is three quarters empty so uh, yeah I'm, uh, what I'm going to do is buy some more storage boxes so the stuff that's there can go in storage boxes which will then free up some capacity so I can get some more stuff in and obviously I've got room on there at the back as well so hopefully I should just about squeeze everything in wish me luck thought I'd give you a little progress update on the cow shed most of the stock from downstairs is gone now Remember that wall was full of boxes. Look at that's horrible. Uh, still lots of stuff here though, which we'll go in storage boxes where I can. Uh, if I run out of money, I'm buying them. Um, started emptying upstairs as well. Get up to the office. The office was absolutely rammed before, but it's now nearly empty. So yeah, that's exciting. Um, so I'm just going to finish uh, taking another load down to the uh, shipping container now. See you in a bit, folks. So it's a Sunday. It's hotter than hell. It's the final day of the move. Box is there at the cow shed. I'm going to go in there. Pick up some uh, stuff. I'm just going to plow through it and get it all shifted into the container. I think it'll just just about all fit in there. So uh, yeah, it's going to be a tight squeeze, but I can do it. See you in a bit, folks. Thought I'd show you what I've got left to move. That corner there. Uh, that corner there. Not that chair. It's not mine. These boxes and stuff here. This corner here, see all these ones, water butt, this little corner here, and we've got up here, all of this, all that, and all of this in here. Well, I'm making good progress in this room. 
Uh, some of those bags are empty as well. So yeah, I reckon good few hours work left, but uh, I'll get there. I'll try and show you how much or how little room I've got left in the uh, cow shed next as well. Uh, not the cow shed, in the shipping container, which we need to name. We'll need to get a name for that, but we can think about that another time. Okay, see you in a bit, folks. Current state of play, a wee bit full. Still got loads to bring as well, but I'll get it in somehow, some way, some when. See you on the other side. Okay, it's gone six o'clock. Progress is being made. This is pretty much cleared out now. Just a couple of things over there. Uh, so yeah, and down there. So one more trip to downstairs. A few more trips to upstairs, and I'll be done. Probably be going until about nine o'clock at night though. But stuff it. I'll get it done. See you in a bit. Okay, it's nine o'clock at night. Not finished yet, but I have emptied another room. I just have the mezzanine level to do now. The study, the office, sorry, is empty. Whew, I am pooped. But I got the mezzanine level done. And uh, yeah, the big question is will everything fit into the shipping container? Stay tuned to find out. So it's half ten, Sunday night. The answer to the question, will everything fit in? Yes, just. Um, and there's still some space up there. Um, but yeah, it needs sorting. So the next few days, well, whatever days off I get off again, I'll come back and sort it all out, get all the racking put up. Um, and yeah, clear a path. So I've got a path straight through the middle down to the end. But. I just had to chuck everything in um, today because uh, time is against me. But yeah, I'm going to go back to the cow shed for one farewell look around. But we've just, just made it. So excellent. See you in a bit for the farewell tour. And it's over. No, it's not. There's a CD rack there. I knew I would forget something. go home anyway well that would have been the farewell but we'll have take two in a second see you in a minute okay take two farewell to the cow shed as you can see it is now empty apart from that crap which is staying and that which isn't mine um, check upstairs, make sure I haven't missed anything. It is quarter past 11 at night, I've got 45 minutes left on this tenancy. Well, it expires, so it's been, as always, a close run thing. But yeah, nothing there. Into the office. Nothing left. So that's it, folks. It's goodbye to the cow shed, it's hello to the shipping container, which we need a name for. Comment below with some names. Thanks for watching folks, see you on the next video, bye for now.